Hi everyone, this is Gaurav, and I'll be demonstrating the use of Visual Studio Code in the computer labs at School of Computing for both Java and Python. The first thing you'll need to do is install Java and Python extension packs, and for that, click on the cogwheel on the bottom left side and click on extensions. The direct shortcut is Control Shift X. Let's try that. Control Shift X. Yep, it works. You can see Python is a popular extension. Uh, the version is 2022.0.18 by Microsoft. That's the one that you want to install. So let's install that. And you will also see at the bottom, I've got a recommended extension pack for Java, but you can also search for it. Actually, if you search for Java, that's the start one, and the version is 0 0.21.0. Install that, and it's installed it. Uh, by habit, I usually close the application and open it again. The version that's in the computer labs, you need to have files in a folder, and you have to open the folder to run them. The latest version, I think, doesn't have that requirement, so I'm just going to run with this one. Click on Open Folder. Create a new folder, Java, enter, and select folder. In the Java folder, if it asks you to trust the author, make sure that you click, yes, I trust this author, and continue. In the folder, we can click on the new file icon and call it hello world.java. Once you name a file with a Java extension, it will activate the Java extension. And you can see that a run button has come up here as well. And you can type class. And the one with the square against it, if you press Enter, it completes the class definition. Similarly, you can type main. And the one with the square, it completes the function definition. And if you type sys out, and press enter against the with the one again which has a square against it it completes the output statement and let's just say nice and save now you can run it just at the top of main or you can use the run button doesn't matter so let's click on that and you can see at the bottom it says nice and that's how you run run a Java program in Visual Studio Code. Now for Python, I'm going to close this project or close this folder and do the same thing again for Python. So open folder, new folder, Python, and select folder. I'm going to create a new file this time. Hello underscore world dot pi and press enter. The nice thing about Python is that you don't need a class or a main file or main function to work. You can straight away type, nice to meet you and run this. And it says, nice to meet you. Obviously you can also define functions as function definition. Define a square function that takes n as an input as return n times n. Then you can say, nice to meet you, print square of five is plus. Now, the thing with Python is you can't just say square of five because square of five returns a numerical value. I'm not going to get into details about typing or types, you have to wrap it around a string, well, what looks like a function, and run this. So it says square of five is 25. If you said square of five is square of five, it will give you a compilation error can only concatenate string, not integers to string. That's why we converted the numerical value 25 to a string by saying str. Okay, that's it. Nice and easy. 
hopefully that will make your life a little bit easier in the first few weeks of whichever programming unit that you're doing. Have fun. <laughs>